Who doesn't love a drink from time to time? Down at a bar, sipping on the finest coldest beverage with your mates, just enjoying life and maybe getting inebriated in the process, nothing to see here. And it would be a shame were somebody to come along and take that away, or at least campaign to do so. Which brings us to the story of today's stranger mission, The Prohibitionist. This stranger mission begins outside the saloon in Blackwater, with the prerequisite being completing another stranger mission found in Blackwater named The Wronged Woman. Outside the saloon we'll find a rather shouty chap, who just so happens to be preaching against alcohol. No, a scum who can become as angels if you just put down the booze. We are campaigning in Congress. We will save this nation from itself. In the land of liberty, men should be free to live soberly without fear that the perils of drink may overcome them. Do you like what you hear, sir? Not particularly. You'll take away our last freedoms, friend. Freedom to forget about our troubles. You don't have troubles, friend. You have all the joys of heaven here on earth if you just put down the bottle. <laughs> you don't know me so well, friend. If you did, you'd know how moronic that sounds. I, Abner Forsythe, am not afraid to be called moronic, sir. That I don't doubt. Good day, sir. Oh, it shall be, sir. When we live temperately alongside one another, you are doomed! Damn! The game now tells us to visit the seedier side of Blackwater, which of course is just a street over from the non-seedier side of Blackwater. Naturally. In the seedy side of Blackwater, we'll run into a bloke just chilling, and we can talk to him about this Abner Forsyth. Hey, mister. I heard about you. Sure you did. <laughs> you that boy killed Bill Williamson over in Mexico. No. You got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you as soon as you come to town. Town? That's what you call this? What's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw you talking to that Abner Forsyth. Who? The temperance movement man. Man trying to put me in a poorhouse. Oh yeah. <laughs> Interesting fella. He's Jeremiah Somerset's pawn. The industrialist wants the, the state to outlaw public consumption of liquor. So as he can make a fortune selling personal gin stills. These bar owners like me begging in the street. Oh. My heart bleeds for the three of you. I just can't figure out which one I dislike the most. You kill Abner Forsyth. I'd do right by you. You need to find yourself someone else. Oh. Kill him. <laughs> it seems people want Abner Forsyth dead. As apparently according to this super trustworthy guy in a back alley, he's working for somebody who wants to profit off the back of the prohibition of intoxicating liquors. He's certainly a part of the temperance movement, and according to a newspaper article found in the game, Abner Forsyth is the leader of a group called the Supporters of Temperance. The article reads as follows. The prohibition movement continues to gather support throughout West Elizabeth. Abner Forsyth, leader of the group called the Supporters of Temperance, is calling for the statewide prohibition of alcohol, and his speeches in Blackwater on the evils of drink have been drawing large crowds. Proponents of prohibition claim that liquor not only damages the mind, health and productivity of the imbiber, but also promotes moral degeneracy and societal unrest. Anti-prohibition campaigners, otherwise known as drunkards, have denounced the idea that the government should define morality, citing that alcohol fosters vitality, combats depression, and braces a man for hard work. Mr. Forsyth, who believes that intoxication is a sin of the worst kind, is asking people to make a simple choice, bask in the joys of heaven or burn in eternal damnation. Nothing suggests he's in the pocket of a Jeremiah Somerset, as insinuated by this fella. 
He very easily could be, but even then, does he deserve to die? Well, we've got a decision to make, as now we can either kill Abner Forsyth, or we can warn him that somebody wants him dead and that he should move along. We'll find him in the same spot he was in before. I chose to warn him, but before we do, it's worth bringing up that there's an economic effect to killing and warning him, which we will talk about after we've done what we need to do. Sin! A sin! A sin, I tell you! Hey there, Abner. Good to see you, my friend. Decided to join me? And recant the evils of the bottle? Keep wishing, friend. Better move on soon. Fellas around here want you dead. Oh. I guess the path of God will lead me elsewhere in this benighted kingdom. Thank you for sparing the life of a poor servant. Kindly, take this. Take care of yourself, Abner. Yeah. Now we need to head back to the suspicious man to tell him that Abner Forsyth is gone. Hey, mister, I want to talk to you. What is it? I heard you tipped off Abner Forsyth after I told you to kill him. Now he'll be spreading his nonsense all over the territory. I ain't here to do your dirty work. Oh, yeah? Well, you can forget about drowning your sorrows anywhere around here. Around here, it's going to be double the going right for you. So be it. If you kill Abner Forsyth, all the bars and temporary accommodations find themselves being at half price. But if you decided to warn him instead, they will double. And this effect isn't just present in Blackwater, but in fact the entire world space. However, if your fame level is Gunslinger, the drinks prices will remain the same, but property prices will still double. Was it worth saving this dickhead's life? Nah, not really. However, that is the end of the Red Dead Redemption Stranger Mission, The Prohibitionist. It's not like it matters much what we do, as nationwide prohibition in the United States began in 1920 and lasted until 1933, bringing us to the end of the video. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super fantastic. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, take care and goodbye. Bye.